what we have in C++ in terms of generating code. Uh, we have uh, we have a preprocessor pre macros, and they can be quite uh, quite powerful. Uh, and then then we have template meta programming, but uh, is it even code generation? No, uh, TMP is code. It's not code generation, in my opinion. So um, I have that fantasy if somehow we could borrow ideas from uh, from this, which was something like my third language. <laughs> Uh, but first, you need a crash course in, uh, in Lisp. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Lisp is very simple. Function call, you remove the commas, you shift the opening parenthesis to the left. That's all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let. Let is just a way of uh, creating a scope and uh, populating it with a few variables. So this is just equivalent to this. Right? Easy. Ah, the back quote. That's a little bit more mysterious. But in fact, you, if you can program in, uh, in Shell, you already know the back quote. It's simply interpolation. So in Shell, interpolation, you, it's a string made partly of constant and uh, strings and property of, uh, of uh, variables. And again, that's all there is to it. Here, I say that quote. And then I give it a list. It works in terms of list, not list, not text. And wherever you see a comma, the variable that follows is injected in the list. Right? So comma is just, lo just like dollar in, in shell scripting. And that is... Um, <coughs> Probably the, the core of the reason why uh, these macros are, are so easy to write. So let's take an example. We, we have a min function, right? So the min function, uh, typical example. Uh, so this says different creates a function called min, which takes two arguments, a and b. And this is like the ternary operator. So if a is smaller than b, you return a, otherwise b, right? And uh, that's typically the sort of function that you might want to turn into a macro. And uh, in C++, we have that problem with uh, evaluating the same thing more than once. So we would like to, to define a macro which does that. So in Lisp, macros are defined using def macro. There are functions which are executed at compile time and that receive one or several ASTs and return an AST, which is injected in the calling code as a replacement for, for the macro call. So we can write uh, <coughs> mid uh, like this. Uh, so if we, well, uh, sorry. If you want, uh, if we want, we would like this function here to expand to something like that. Here we say. Uh, we're going to say the value of the first uh, argument to the variable left, the, the second argument to the variable right, and then we decide which one we should return. And both, uh, <coughs> both expressions are evaluated only once, and we got these two variables. And with list macros, you can do it like this. So that macro, this function is going to execute uh, at compile time, and we simply build the program we want using the back code and where we need it, we replace, uh, we inject uh, A and B, which, which can be, you know, 10-level uh, deep expressions, right? So it's, it's, it's very easy to write. Uh, and with Emacs list or other list, we can, we can ask this to expand the macro uh, and see the result we would get, and indeed, indeed this works, right? So, um, so what with the towel? The problem is that list macros usually are not hygienic. That's what the towel is for. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you thought. So uh, we need to clean this a bit. And the problem we have with the previous example is that here, left and right, which are used by the macro, may interfere with, with variables which are named by the same name in a context in which the, the macro is going to be injected. So we have this. Uh, Function which is called Jensen, which creates a new symbol. Right. So here, first we generate two new unique symbols, left and right, and this time we inject in the calling code not left and right, but those two new symbols. Okay. So that that's <coughs> the power of uh, preprocessor C macros. They, they actually allow you to manipulate symbols, build new symbols, uh, and that is something which I 
needed in my uh, open methods library, which I'm going to talk about in a little while, uh, it, it actually starts with a copious amount of preprocessor macro. So maybe we could have the same in C++. Maybe we could have something like this. Uh, we could have a function which executes a compile time, which uh, generates symbols, manipulates them, and simply you write the program you want, and then you inject a few variable parts into it. And I think I'm out of time.